level sets really are the right perspective for solving constrained optimization problem and, and for understanding how the constraints are entwined with the level sets of the function. Now, notice that the constrained maxima and minima are not necessarily maxima and minima of the full function. Nevertheless, it is always the case that the constraint level sets and the function to be optimized, its level sets, are always tangent, always having parallel gradients. Look at this function. This is a typical function, two inputs, one output, with a constraint set that is, in this case, circular. If you look at where the local maxima and minima of that function are and compare it to the level sets, of the cost function, of the function to be optimized, then you can see that tangency, both from a, a sort of a 3D perspective where you're looking at the graph, and then from the 2D perspective where you're looking at the level sets straight up. You can see how those maxima and minima are related to the tangencies between the level set and the constraint set. Okay, so, so this really works. Even in more general settings, yes. Yes, it does. Consider the case where, um, let's say you're in the plane, although it works uh, outside of 2D as well, and you're looking at a constraint set that is not necessarily circular, that's, that's got a lot more interesting structure to it. If you consider where the tangencies between the constraint set and the level sets of the function to be optimized, what does it look like when you plot the gradient of F and the gradient of G? You will see that these vectors are parallel precisely where there's a tangency between the level sets. Why? Because we know gradients are orthogonal to level sets. And so level sets are going to be tangent precisely where the gradient vectors are parallel. This is the basis for what comes next.